This is a well-considered county project with support from Republicans and Democrats, Doherty and Ron Davis. Um, I would encourage county, county fo or city folks that have questions about this project of a fellow governmental entity to reach out to them and, and maybe hear some about that Travis County master plan and, and why we didn't go to the middle of nowhere um, to do the people's business. And economic development, in my mind, is not locating a building with a, with a place to put incarcerated people in a place where, where families are broken up and, and foster kids and children are taken care of. That is not economic development. Um, that is not a symbol for East Austin. Um, what is a symbol for East Austin and real economic development, in my mind, would be light manufacturing, locally owned businesses, um, places where people can work and grow. Uh, when you go into the courthouse, something has gone wrong, and it needs to be located centrally so it's close to not only uh, transportation but the other courts. And if you're trying to get on that bus and trying to get your protective order and you're going to Walter E. Long Lake, um, I'm not sure you're being served well by the city or the county to do it that way. First of all, Ms. Van Cleef, thank you so much for coming today. It's nice to meet you. And on behalf of the citizens of, of, uh, of uh, District 1, I want to thank you for telling us what's best for us. Uh, we're not, this is not to move the, the courthouse to Walter E. Long Metropolitan Park, so that was a misgiving on your part. Uh, there is city land and county land in the district that has not been used. Uh, I understand that you are building um, a medical examiner's um, a facility uh, on part of the county land that's east of 290 that's kind of in the district but uh, in the area. I have reached out to Commissioner Davis. I didn't get a response, so I didn't know that I could reach out to you because I'm just meeting you today. Um, um, the description of in the middle of nowhere is offensive to me. Uh, because we have people who live there and uh, do try to work and are citizens who uh, work at the city and the county and the state. Um, and so we don't see as ourselves in the middle of nowhere, uh, but we do see that when a courthouse or municipal building is built, that things go along with that that don't go along with light industry. Uh, we have offices, law offices, other kinds of offices that do go with that. People have to have a place to eat, which we don't have at this point. So that would be another generation of, of people would have to build restaurants and mm -hmm. other kinds of things for people to do. Capital Metro reroutes buses all the time, so that can be an opportunity to have some additional transit in the area that would get people from point A to point B quicker. My question now would it, be the cost. Well, but the cost of, you're asking the taxpayers to cost to 287 $13.50 for a $100,000 valuation of your home Well, but that's to replace an 84-year-old building. But that's easy for you to say because you make more money than most of the people in my area. So it does make a cost. I'm, I'm not Thank sure. Thank you, you so much. Ma'am, okay. you don't know how much I make. Council, council member.